Hey, welcome to Ragdale Creek Workshop. Uh, today we got a little problem. We was uh, mulching leaves and I forgot about a root sticking up out there. And uh, we was traveling about 10 miles an hour, I guess, when we hit it. Broke the lawnmower. So we got to make a piece for it. Let's see, uh, turn y'all around. Here's a piece we broke. It hit hard and uh, my back felt it. Uh, Here's the other piece to it. It's a half inch uh, rod. It's gonna be about 11 and a half inches long. It goes through this piece. This piece goes through uh, right down here. Goes through here to hold the deck on the front side. And then that rod comes through this, through this uh, rod comes through that hole there. And um, <coughs> This bent portion of it, it uh, goes like that right there. That bent portion of it right there, this part, this part here, it, uh, that's a fishing boat. Uh, this part of it goes on the uh, deck. I had to, I couldn't lift the deck, so I had to drug it back around here. And uh, this part, this is the front of the deck here, uh, at the front of the lawnmower. And uh, this part goes right here. The washer, has got a washer here, but it goes through that hole. And right here, and comes to the front of the lawnmower and holds the front of it up. These two is the holder for the back. Both of these, see how thin this prong right here is. Both of them were bent. This one wasn't bent too bad. This one over here was bent pretty bad. I got a uh, crescent wrench and straightened it up. So, what we're going to have to do now, I got to rake some leaves in the car port here. What we got to do now, We'll come back over here to the lawnmower. I got some 4140 half inch. So we're going to have to make us a piece. We're going to have to uh, turn it. It's going to have to be about 11 and a half. I'm going to make it 12, I think. Then I can cut it off if I need to. Uh, you don't need to make it too short. But I'm going to... Uh, I'll have to thread one end of it and uh, bend it and put that hole in it and then I'm going to weld a washer where this one uh, has been, uh, I think they've heated that up when they uh, and uh, formed that when they uh, made this piece. So all I'm going to do is weld a washer there and uh, We'll go find some material and we'll get started making it. Okay. This is a piece of the 4140 here on the steel rack. We're going to go over here and uh, saw a piece of it off. I'll bring y'all back when we get over here to the saw. Okay, we got the rod set up here in the lathe. I'm going to put some dicom on it. That's it. It's a half inch 23 is what it is. Uh, I'll bring y'all back in just a minute. 
I'm going to pull that part out a little bit and uh, line this tool back up. Well, y'all might want to see that. I've got it in there. I put it in there and I put it in there a little bit too close. I don't want to work that close to the chuck. <clears throat> Well, I shouldn't have really tightened that up. If you start out with a thread or you're cleaning up one, you can do this. You've got to put it in gear, leave it in gear, cut the rotation off, and then line your tool. Line your tool back up. This ain't real critical here, but uh, if I'd uh, if I had a done uh, gone uh, say halfway uh, deep with it, uh, uh, you'd have to do a little bit more finessing with it. Right there is it. So I lined it back up with a tool. With it in gear. Now I can take it out of gear. And back it back up. Turn it back on and it should be, it, uh, should be right. can't even see the difference in where the threads were before than where they are now. I don't know if y'all can focus in on that or not. There we go. So you can't even tell where it run down in there. It's easy to do. I, I, uh, I learned it a long time ago and I never, well, I, I had never done it until I got my lathe because I never did have to do it. And, uh, but, uh, let me get y'all in there where you can see a little better. There we go. All right, we're going to come back now. I'm going to, uh, let me, uh, Let me bring y'all back in a minute. I want to look on my phone and see how deep these threads are supposed to be. Well, it says 31 thousandths, so let's see what we got here now. Now i got to put it back on zero. And uh, we'll go in right there. See what we got.
have to have a... I'm going to try to find another nut anyway. Well, I found one, and uh, I run a tap through it to make sure it was good. Okay, we got the uh, rod for the lawnmower finished. Uh, I uh, uh, had to cut it off a little bit. Uh, it was a little bit too long. I knew it was, but I didn't want it to be too short. Uh, but uh, we got it finished, and... Uh, uh, looks pretty good i'll turn y'all around where you can see it uh i made this little uh uh thing to go on there just like uh this one had on it uh where it would uh have something to rest up against on the lawnmower and uh the threads they uh this is a nylock but they uh they ain't no loose motion in it I gotta get a new nut, but the threads on it's good. It's just where it's rubbed on uh, this piece here. See, this piece here goes up on this shaft, and uh, there's where the nut's been riding on it. Uh, I've hit a bunch of roots. That's what uh, that's what causes this wear. The yard's got a bunch of roots, and I forget to raise the lawnmower up. I usually raise it up two notches. Uh, when I'm all over around the trees and sometimes I'll be running across there and I'll forget and hit it. That's what happened to broke it. I was uh, vacuuming, uh, not vacuuming, but uh, mulching up the leaves in the yard and uh, forgot about one root this way away from a tree. And uh, I hit it going uh, as fast as a lot more go and, uh, and uh, I heard something snap and I knew uh, you had uh, knocked something loose or broke something and Sure enough, I broke this uh, pen. But we got another one made. Uh, I saved. They uh, got them on eBay for uh, twenty nine dollars and a few cents uh, plus tax. And uh, time it got here, it'd probably be uh, probably thirty two, thirty three dollars with tax and all. So I saved that much money because I had this uh, piece of uh, forty one forty. I got a had a six foot piece of it, and I just cut a piece off. Uh, a little bit longer uh, than this one here because I didn't know how much the bin was going to take up. And these threads here on this one, they're way long, but you can see the nut didn't go. It just barely went across the end. It come up to about right there. And that's all it come up. So I didn't uh, thread all the way up like that. I single point threaded them and... Uh, oh. I figured up one time it said uh, 31,000 deep, and then, uh, my mind wasn't working that day. It was real cold out here. That's uh, 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 36,000, I mean uh, 62 thousandths deep on the uh, diameter. So I had to go back in, and uh, I was having a rough day that day. So we got her done anyway. She's done, and uh, she'll be back on the lawnmower here for long. Uh <coughs> It's going to have to warm up a little more. It ain't too bad today. It ain't but about. Uh, the dog's fighting over food again. Neighbor's dog come over and tried to steal my dog's food. <laughs> she won't put up with that. Even though she's about half his size. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, we uh going to wait till, uh, like I said, it warms up a little bit. This 50... It's 50 degrees today, between 45 and 50 outside today, but the wind's blowing. You can't stand it outside. The wind chill is about 30, uh, below 30, I guess. But uh, we got her done, and uh, hope y'all and uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, it was just a uh, uh, look here. I got mail coming. This beautiful girl brought me some mail. Thank you, darling. Welcome. But. Uh, she be done, and y'all uh, tell your friends and about this channel, and uh, we'll have a, as soon as I get the, uh, over this uh, cold, I'll, uh, and respiratory infection, I'll uh, have a lot more content. Uh, we're trying to get a, uh, a split unit, uh, mini split to go out here in the shop. Uh, we hope to have it done just right after the first of the year, so. Like I said, y'all uh, y'all have a good day, and uh, thank y'all for stopping by, and uh, uh, we shall uh, 
best of best of all uh, things and uh, God bless.